All right, behind me I have a 2006 Honda Ridgeline. We're going to be removing the headliner, doing a repair. Uh, the headliner got damaged in a rollover. My client asked me if we could repair it and put a new headliner in there. I said it might be better just to repair it instead of just replacing the headliner completely. So we're going to pull all the side panels off. We're going to go through and we're going to show you the step by step how to remove all the pieces and the hardware to get the headliner down. Then we're going to remove the headliner, see if it can be repaired. Then from there we'll go through and do a repair process and recover the, the put new material on the headliner. So let me take you on the inside and I'll show you kind of the damages that we have. Okay, this next step we have these little clips. One on the top and one on the bottom. I'm going to show you how to remove those. All you do is just put a little screwdriver back behind there. Pry it up. Like that. In the same way with the bottom one, put a little screwdriver in there and pry that out. And then there's two 8 millimeter bolts behind there or you can use a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, all we have to do to remove this is get a little pry tool behind there, pop that loose and then that should pull off and then you can access the 14 millimeter bolt. Alright, so I'm entering here from the passenger side. I'm going to show you the biggest problem we have is we've got an entire crack right there. And over here on the back, it's a little less dramatic, but we also have to repair that. And we have one on the side that I'm on. So that's kind of our problem. We do need to remove the A pillars, the B pillars, and the C pillars to get that uh, hardware out. We can already see this one right here is kind of removed itself. <laughs> so it's just kind of sitting there. So we can go ahead and get you set on the tripod and show you how we do this. All right, first thing you want to do, you want to take this little pin. It just says the SRS on there, and you just want to pull it out. Okay, so I just use a little screwdriver like this, this little uh, watch screwdriver, pop this out, and then this should just pull out of the way like that. Now I'm just going to remove these two screws, and okay, now we're just going to move the seat forward. All right, our next step, we need to remove this bottom trim panel. We just need to pull it back, so you can use a pry bar or just do it by hand. I like to use my fingers, it's a little safer. It needs to go back just enough so that we can release the little pin, there's a little plastic push pin right there. I'm just going to use a long screwdriver. Okay. And then there you have it. Now this uh, connects to the top of the headliner. This connects underneath the bottom of this panel. And then there's that little push pin I was trying to remove. This one here that goes on the top was smashed, so we'll have to replace that one. Now you can kind of see how severe this actually is. Right there is where the airbag is. So when this was deployed, this thing just shattered, pushed it out, but they never replaced it. And uh, that's what happened on this section as well. Because of the airbag, when it exploded, it just tore this. So, but it doesn't look like the roof's crusted anything, but we'll see when we get it apart. Okay, this next part's kind of tricky. You got this side curtain airbag plug, and what we got to do is put a little screwdriver behind it, pull it out, like that. Okay, now, inside here there's a little pin, but this one's broken. There's a little pin in here that you just pull this all the way out to where it's just about this far, and then from there, you should be able to remove it. So I'm gonna remove down the molding just a little bit, kind of pry back on it, okay? And then it'll release back inside here. Then our next step is we're just gonna take a little push pin tool, pull the cap off, then we're gonna remove the 14 millimeter. Okay, now that we got that removed, pull that out of the way. And then this should pop down just enough that we can get the headliner down. And we'll just leave that right there. Okay, our next step is we need to remove this light fixture. So it just pops down like that. Same with this side, pops down. And inside there we have a Phillips screw right there and another Phillips screw right there. We're gonna go ahead and remove those.
So now we're gonna remove these coat hangers. I just got a little hook tool. I'm just gonna put it in that little spot and pull that loose. Then we got two Phillips screws and we'll remove those. Okay, same thing on the other side. Let's put that pin in there. Pop that out. That's what it looks like. Grab my drill. There we go. All right, now we need to remove the sun visor. There's a little piece of plastic right here. What you want to do is just put your hook tool in there. Just kind of pull it down so that you can access the screws underneath. Just be careful you don't poke the material or whatever. Same thing on this side. We've got a little bit of a screw on the back side. Okay. All right, these little clips are a little confusing. The way they come out is you just turn them Twist them like this, just kind of wiggle it, and it'll pull out. It's good, it's got kind of like a little, and you can kind of see where it mounts up in that hole. So you just got to basically twist it, and that's how those go back in, just like that. Okay, the overhead light here and the sun visors, right up in here, you've got two screws, one right there and one right here. We're just going to remove those. And then I believe behind these little light switches, we have two more. So we're going to pull these out, and then we'll remove the two screws in there, and then this will come down. All right, now that the headliner is all removed, well, now that all the hardware that holds the headliner in has all been removed, the next step is to get it down and get it out of the car. Sometimes this can be actually pretty tricky, but I'm gonna choose the path of least resistance, which means I'm gonna bring it down to the front and I'm gonna try to take it out the passenger door, which seems to be the best way. But I've laid the chairs back just so that I can access everything as best I can. So well, here I go. I've never done this before, so I don't know how it comes out. Each headliner is a little bit different. All right, well, we got the headliner out. Um, I had to kind of turn it on its side to get it out. You see right here, that's the front, that's the back. What I actually had to do was pull it down through the front, kind of turn it so it would come out this way. But that's gonna be it for this video. I'll try to keep it short. The next video will be us doing the repair, the recovering. The panel is pretty fragile. So if we can't do a repair, you won't see a part two. But if we can do the repair and it is savable, 
We'll go through and we'll show you how to do the repair, recover it, do fiberglass work, clean it all up, and then we will reinstall it. So hope, hopefully you like the video. Please rate, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and we will see you guys on part two. Break that loose. Really?